Need to store a car or other vehicle for the winter? Consider a shipping container. Watch this to learn more. Let me show you why shipping containers are great for storing cars, motorbikes, ATVs, lawn or farming equipment, and even boats and watercraft. One of the reasons why shipping containers are ideal for this type of an application in terms of storing, whether it be cars, boats, any type of recreational vehicle, predominantly it's because of their functionality. So you've got something that is completely portable, that can go in any location at someone's property, that has a significant lifespan. You have something like this, which is 40 feet long, nine foot six high. So not only can you use it potentially for a specific application, like storing a recreational vehicle, car, boat, sea doo etc., but you then have a ton of additional space if necessary to store other items as well. And I think one of the other big factors, quite honestly, is the cost of construction. So trying to actually build something from scratch that is this size, when you talk about constructing a foundation, framing it, roll-up doors, windows, roof trusses, etc., it's an extremely, extremely expensive project, whereas something like this has the ability to be dropped in place, stay there for a 20, 25 year period of time that has the ability to arguably be more functional, more durable at a fraction of the cost. We do have a lot of people that come to us having stored their vehicle with a dedicated facility for a period of time. And I think what happens is that at some point in time, people start to look at the cost of doing this on an annual basis and they realize that that cost is a reoccurring expense. So every year they're spending three, four, five, six hundred dollars to store a car somewhere, which is off-site. They don't have direct view of the item itself if there's ever to have something go wrong. There's a lot of issues now with insurance in terms of storing vehicles off-site. But I think the main thing is that investing in something like this ultimately will pay for itself within a very, very short period of time. And I think the other significant benefit is that you get use of the container as an example for any other application that you want. So if you're storing a vehicle as an example during the winter, in the spring and summer when that vehicle isn't inside that container, you then have this entire unit which can be used for any other application that you want. A 20 foot container for the most part will store any type of passenger vehicle easily. There's no passenger vehicle really that exceeds 20 feet in length and the width of the container allows for again virtually any passenger vehicle to be stored inside. The benefit of a 40 foot container is that you can store multiple pieces of equipment. So uh, we have some instances where customers are storing a vehicle, perhaps some type of a recreational vehicle. They're putting shelving in to deal with canoes or kayaks that can be hung from the ceiling. So I think just having more space increases the functionality of the unit itself. There's a couple of practical things that we typically find ourselves communicating with customers about. One is entry or access into the container itself. There's one of a couple of ways that people can do this. In some instances, people might have access to some material, whether it's gravel or some type of comparable material that they can kind of build a ramp up to the lip of the container after it's been dropped in place. The other way is purchasing individual ramps from any type of traditional big box store. That particular design I'm not a fan of. I, I think it makes getting in and out of the container much more difficult. We design in-house a ramp which is custom fabricated to be the precise height of a shipping container. And it's reinforced in a way that it can be used for any type of equipment, machinery, cars, farm equipment, etc. But it spans the entire width of the base of the container itself. So even if you're off a little bit in terms of moving the vehicle up into the container, from a safety perspective, it allows for you to be able to do that with a lot more ease. So the roll-up door provides a very functional and straightforward option so that when the vehicle is physically inside the container, the customer can simply open the door into the gap that's created by the opening itself and safely and easily enter or exit the vehicle. The roll-up door feature is not something that comes standard on shipping containers. This is something that, that we build here we fabricate it, we do the cutting, we manufacture the framing, and then we install the door. 
If you think a shipping container might work for your storage needs, contact Spaces Storage first, online at spacesstorage.ca.